Hey guys, what's going on? This is Igor for Gaming. Awesome. Today we're playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate on the PlayStation 4, and I've been really, really busy. You guys have absolutely no idea. Let me show you the map. Look how much of this map I have cleared. I've actually cleared enough to start um, Sequence 8 right now. I don't know if it'll let me just finish the whole game, but I don't want to skip uh, to the ending even though it gives me the option to play uh, Sequence 8 right now. Don't want to spoil anything for myself, but yeah, it takes actually a pretty long time to clear this map out, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to clear a territory and what I've been doing to get all of my points and uh, all of the really, really good stuff. So, speaking of which, we're going to go ahead and upgrade right now. I've kind of been waiting for you guys to upgrade. So, I'm now a level, well, Eevee's now a level 6. I think Jacob's must still might be a level 5. So this Obsidian Lion Cane Sword is something that I've had my eye on, but I haven't really upgraded to because I didn't want to do it without you guys. So this other um, uh, Cane Sword is available right now, but I can't equip it because I need a level 8. So we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and craft it. Crafty, crafty. That girl is crafty. Na, 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 na. All right. <laughs> That's enough for that. Hold on a second. Let's craft this sword, baby. Oh my god, we have this this one too? Oh, that one's even cooler. Alright, hold on. Where's the where's the one that's appropriate for our level? Don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Okay, cool. Let's craft this right now. Perfect. Obsidian Lion Cane Sword. That thing looks so badass. I don't know if I can zoom in on it or not, but look at that. Just a lion chilling. Waning to pounce, baby, on our enemies. You know what it is? Hold on a second. I went back too far. I've been holding out for this thing, man. I wanted to upgrade for you guys. Every single fight I get into, I'm like, Oh, I could just be kicking so much more ass, but I wasn't recording, so... Wanted to let you guys in on the killing fun. Uh, Where the hell are we going? Alright, inventory, weapons. And now we should be able to... Oh, it's equipped, right? Yeah, it's already equipped. Look at that thing. Get a little closer view. That looks deadly as fudge. Okay, um... And now, do we want to upgrade it? We have enough money. Yeah, let's do that. Let's upgrade that bish. Make that lion even more deadly. It's gonna maim some all of us. Um, here in the Industrial Revolution. So I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Assassin gauntlets. I don't have any new gauntlets. A bunch of you guys were asking me to change, like, her outfit and stuff. I can't. Um, I can't really change it, uh, it, it no more than I already have. Here, let me show you guys these skills. Okay, so... They've been upgrading this a lot, too. This is cool. Eevee's stealth stats increased by an additional 11. She's le less likely to be detected by her... Uh, and her assassinations make very little noise. So this actually has been coming in very, very handy. Can basically walk around enemies now. Haven't really been um, upgrading too much of, like, the super... The super special ones, because... Skill points are not easy to come by in this game. So, um... This is, I think, the next one I'm going to upgrade. The Knife Master. Eevee can carry twice as many throwing knives. Her knives also inflict significantly more damage. We, I just unlocked this. Throw knives stun enemies for a short time. You automatically recover throwing knives when performing multi-kills. So that's pretty freaking awesome. And uh, this one, obviously, her ultimate, ultimate super power, uh, su super power, superhero power is the chameleon. So in sneak mode, if she's standing still, she basically just goes invisible. And then she could do assassinations from her invisible position as long as she doesn't move. So that's really sick, but really expensive. I'm working up to it, man. I'm working up to it. Uh, but I think... So the inventory. Basically, I'm just... I did so many things. I just want to catch you guys up because I know some people are definitely going to be interested in this. Uh, the cape. I guess we can try we have the cloak of the people. That's so and tiny. Why is it so tiny? You can't... You can't even fit one person in there, let alone people. See, I feel like as soon as I unlock this and spend money on unlock this and resources, I'm just going to like become level 7 and then there's going to be something even more badass. Um I guess let's uh No, yeah, let's do it. Why not? Right? Like I said, I was waiting for you guys to unlock this stuff, so Legendary Cape of the Assassin. No, that's not it. Cloak of the People. The Rock? The Rock is in here? People's Champion? 
Maybe. Maybe he gives her Dwayne the Rock Johnson's powers. I wouldn't mind. Alright, so now we got capes. We got this new one. Let's see what the upgrade is. Upgrade preview. Yeah, more defense and stealth. I, I think I really can't go wrong with that. I mean, I am kind of rich. I've got 19,000 pounds, so... I don't know, dudes. Eevee is, like, decked out right now. I am very happy about this. So, outfits. So, you guys wanted me to change the outfits? They're all locked. They're all locked. So, just to show you guys, it's not that I'm uh, ignoring this part of the inventory. It's just... There's... There's re we're very limited on choices of outfits, and I think I have the cooler one out of the two already. Decreases melee damage received by 15%. No, we're just, that's probably too expensive. We already spent so much money. My wallet's hurting me. All right, guys, so I apologize for the long setup, but like I said, especially with an open world game like this, some people definitely want to see my progression, and I just wanted to catch you guys up a little bit on all of that. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this viewpoint. This little red area is the last thing that I have to do to clear the um, territory of the Thames, and then we'll actually be able to fight the boss or the gang leader, Edith Swineborn. She was was born of pink. That's not a compliment. Don't ever tell that to a girl. But anyway, I'm going to go to this viewpoint. I'm going to synchronize and I'll see you while I, I have some beautiful camera work going on. All right, dudes, we're going to get a really scenic synchronization point right here. This is going to be pretty sick. Can I go up even higher? Yes, I can. My God, Evie, how do you train for balance? Hey, Thank you. Thank you so much for being courteous and moving, little bird. Look at this. In the daytime. The shipyard. Sick, man. Totally sick. Some of the visuals in this game are ridiculous, man. But yeah, I figured I'd let you guys in. So for this episode, we're going to just concentrate on... Um... Let me try to get that. How do I get you? Okay. <laughs> I figure might as well get the glitches if they're right there in front of my face. So I figure for this uh, for this episode, we're going to concentrate on uh, some of the side missions. You know, just so I could show you guys and you know what exactly it is that I've been doing for like five hours yesterday. And because uh, after this, I mean, I'm probably going to be high enough level. I'm probably going to have enough things unlocked and enough craft uh, or things crafted or crafting materials to basically power through um, the rest of this game. So. Next, we're getting, like, really heavy into story missions, but just for this one, I mean, I'm sure some people want to see some of the side stuff anyway. We did get a little preview of it all the way in the beginning of the game, but, you know, why not, right? If we could fight a boss, let's do it. Show him who's boss. Um, okay, so we have the Templar Hunt. Basically, just go and kill a person, and then we have the, I think this is the Bounty Hunt? Yeah, the Bounty Hunt. So we have to go and kidnap somebody. So let's just go do them in order. I am so sorry, Captain. Is that the guy's name, Captain? I kind of wish my name was Captain. It always sounds so official, doesn't it? Captain. Like, there's no one named Captain that's, like, not at least a little bit important. Oh, shit. That Templar hunt on the... Is it on a boat? Oh, it is on a boat. That's so cool. All right, all right. Come on. Jump down. Jump down. Swim. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eevee. I know you probably don't want to. I don't blame you. That water doesn't look very clean. And there are... Oh my god. There are probably very, very little regulations about keeping this thing safe. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna get into a fight. We're gonna get into a fight right now with everybody. Probably could have done this more carefully, but you know what? Oh, you know what? Yeah! Fight me, bros! Fight me! Oh my god, Jesus! Fight oh, why is everything bloody? Why is everything bloody? Why? Come on, man! Stop this! Oh my god, did we just kick him? There we go! Oh, throw the body in the river! That was perfect! Just like that? Just like that, we already completed that task. That's amazing. Can we air assassinate? Air assassinate! Air assassinate, please! No? Okay, alright. Excuse me! Excuse me! I have killed your captain, and now it's time to go. You guys should have watched over that captain, man. What are you guys doing? All right. So actually, that went really, really well. I unintentionally completed the uh, 
optional objective too. Just want to make sure that I'm going the right way. Okay, throw the body in Thames River. We did that. The same river we're just swimming through. Like it was a freaking pool. Henry Green. So we have actually almost everything. All of uh, Henry Green's uh, loyalty levels unlocked. It gives you an item every single time you unlock a level. It does take a while though. So now that is clear. Our map is a little less red. It's a little less inflamed. Red always means bad. Always. Even when you're talking about map health. Alright, cool. So we were, we were actually going the right way. The bounty hunt's 200 meters away. Ain't no big deal. Should be a cakewalk getting there. Unless, for some reason, I don't know, I run into like an entire gang. Which happens rarely, but it happens. Usually I can avoid them pretty easily though. Honestly, the most trouble I ever get into is if like there's police around. And I see like a few gang members, rival gang members, and then I go stab them. You know, just because you can. Just because it's a thing to do on Sunday morning. Sunday morning, foes are falling. And uh, yeah, then I don't notice that there's like a bunch of police right next to me too. And then, I think I'm just doing a nice little assassination, but that's not what it turns out to be. And then all of a sudden, I'm fighting the police. All of a sudden, I'm, G I'm in GTA with a four-star rating. There's helicopters and shit, which makes no sense because helicopters haven't been invented yet. That's what it feels like. See, like this. That is a perfect example right here, actually. Can we? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, come on, no, stab him! You punch him in the dick. I just stab him, and it's a punch him in the dick. Damn, bro. Ugh. See, there it is! Oh my god, the exact situation that I was just describing is happening. Hold on, as long as we didn't... See, I got here, and they were already fighting one of my, uh, one of my comrades. One of my green leprechaun comrades. Where is this bastard? Where is the man that I need to kidnap? Okay, that's him. Should be... F pretty straightforward. I mean, there's really no one watching him. Is he looking this way? Yes, he is looking this way. Um... You know what? I probably should just assassinate this woman. Just to be safe. That's how expendable you are, enemies. You just do it because it's more convenient. I don't even have to. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. There we go. Got him! You know what? We're just gonna go the complete opposite way. There are a bunch of enemies that way, so we're gonna go this way. Be quiet, would you? Staying away from those threats. Can't a man do his work without being interrupted? Can't a man do his work without being interrupted? The police. What you know what I've been doing? I've actually just been like running there with them. Ever since I got the skill that uh, keeps them from trying to break free, it's actually really easy to just kind of like I don't even have to use this carriage. I've just literally been doing this. Like this is the most inconspicuous thing ever. Like really, like 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 two people really walk like this down the street. What in God's name? Arousing no suspicion at all. Don't worry. Don't worry. He just broke his arm. He broke it off, and I'm just uh I'm I'm helping him hold it up. We're going to the hospital. Maybe. No need to bring any attention over here. Or the police. Don't tell the police. Does shipping and selling narcotics sound familiar? Alright, here we go. And just like that. You know, carriage. Thank you, friend. See, he brought his own carriage. Mr. Frederick. Model 3 revolver. So we unlock the Model 3 revolver right here. I don't like using guns, man. I don't like using guns because they don't really... Like, killing one person instantly, like, the strongest gun, all it does is kill one person instantly in this game. And then you just, you just ring the dinner bell, man. Like, everyone knows you're around. They can literally ring the, the alarm bell. Alright, so now we have, uh, unlocked this. Gang leader Edith Swineborn. 
So wide born. Jesus, man. What did she do to get that name? Oh shit, wait a second. She's actually. You know what? This happens sometimes? I don't know exactly when it happens, but this does happen. That sometimes they, um. They come and, like, talk shit to us before the actual boss battle. And if you get, if you catch up with them and kill them before the actual boss battle, then the, uh, you don't have to, you don't have to face them later. Which is pretty cool. I mean, this is, like, really hectic right now. I might not survive, but we'll see what happens. Oh my god, you know what I need? I need, I need a, yes, 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 yes. Throw, throw it, throw the bomb, throw the bomb. Perfect. Now we could, we should be able to take her out. As long as we take her out, that's all. That's the only person we need to eliminate. Oh my god! Guys, it's too late! I have killed your leader! With ten of you just standing around watching, you're all fired. You're all fired. Oh my god. See, what happens now is now we're gonna go do the gang war. And then we get to recruit them into our, our army. But I don't even think I want them in our army. They didn't protect her. They're definitely not gonna protect me. There was ten of them, and one of me. Okay, granted, I'm pretty badass. I mean, and that wasn't even Jacob. That was Evie. And Evie's not supposed to be like a brute. Bam, son. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you see. Right now, it already shows the gang leader. Uh, oh wait, nope. Sorry. The, there you go, Olivia. Uh, not Olivia. Gang leader Edith Swineborn. She's already eliminated, but we still have to do that gang, uh, that gang war. Fight to conquer Thames. But watch, watch how simple this is gonna be without without a boss. It's basically just gonna be like killing a whole bunch of uh, little henchmen, and we're gonna be done. Hey, what are you guys playing? What are you guys playing? You're running around in a circle. You're running in a circle. I want to play too. I want to play too. Yeah, I play rough. Okay, I play rough. The streets are rough out here. I'm trying to teach you life lessons. <laughs> All right, dudes. Did you see how fast? By the way, did you see how fast I got away with the uh, rope launcher from all those people? Amazing. I love the rope launcher. I have no idea how I'm ever going to play another Assassin's Creed game without a rope launcher. Like, if they go, like, crazy back where uh, rope launchers... But, I mean, like... I was going to say when they go crazy back when rope launchers wouldn't make sense. But, like, the Assassins always have advanced technology. So, I guess, you know probably get away with it for a really long time unless it's like the prime evil ages or something like that like uh like far cry by the way the next far, far cry game is gonna go all the way back to the stone age which is sick or ice age or whatever i'm not an ageologist but still How are you definitely gonna be playing that and uh suggestion level five that's good we're, we're actually level six should be easy especially now that they don't have a boss but yeah, the uh, the rope launcher. I don't know how I'll ever be able to play an Assassin's Creed game without a rope launcher. I mean, the carriages, it's cool. You can drive them. Um, the trains are okay because I mean, you obviously have to stay on the train tracks. The Visually, they look awesome. With Miss Swineborn no longer leading the Thames blighters. Good luck to both sides. This guy always wishes us luck before a gang war. But yeah, so the train is okay, but that this rope launcher, though, game changer. I don't know if recruiting, I don't know if recruiting people before these gang fights, if it makes a difference, if it brings more, uh, more allies with you. I have no idea. But now that we're at level six, and all these guys are only level fives and fours, plus with all of our upgraded equipment and weapons, I mean. This really should be easy. Unless, for some reason, this guy has an impenetrable titanium arms. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Evie and Jacob Fry. And as of this moment, you all work for us. That's it, baby. That's it. We have conquered another area of this map. I only have two more, I think. I only have two more. And I've actually already started. This one is um, 
Where is it? So this one's suggested level 9, and you guys can see I've already cleared a bunch of it, even though I'm only level 6. And while I was clearing it, I was only level 5. Um, but yeah, the entire uh, south side... Actually, the entire half of the map. This is more than half of the map we already cleared. Um, this is uh, suggested level 8, so that's the only reason like I haven't been doing these, because some of them do get really tough if you're not the correct level. But yeah, anyway, dudes, we're going to get right into sequence 5, but in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for rating. Really hope you are enjoying this uh, playthrough of Assassin's Creed and uh, watching Evie grow into the awesome badass assassin that she was always destined to be. I'm having a crap ton of fun playing this game. Hopefully you guys are having fun watching. Thank you guys so much. If you guys want to see more, please give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey you. Yeah you. Thanks for watching an awesome gaming awesome video. Now click on another video on the screen right now and watch that one too. Go ahead. I'll wait.